What's up, YouTube? Team Movies here. So today is the birthday of Charlie Sheen. I decided to just go ahead and do it. I already did my 10 favorite Emil SFS movies, so it's time for his uh, brother's turn. So I'm actually going to do my top 10 favorite Charlie Sheen projects. Now, normally, this I'll make a top 10 uh, film list, but he's made some TV shows that I'm kind of not going to leave off the list. So maybe, maybe he's down the line, probably, like, from now, I'm going to probably start doing, uh, pro like, if, you know, I do a top 10 list of an actor or whatever, and they have, like, a TV project that they have, to, I'll probably do my top, like, make the uh, list as my top 10 projects of theirs, not just uh, movies. So, anyway, with that being said, here's my top 10 favorite Charlie Sheen projects. All right, number 10 is real, it's a really underrated, it's a really underrated uh, sitcom that he started. And that is going to his TV sitcom, Anger Management. Now, this is actually an FX show, which it is a multicam uh, sitcom. Makes me a little... Like, I kind of wish that uh, FX would do more multicam sitcoms, because I quite dug Anger Management. Now, it is actually a, uh, a TV um, adaptation of the Adam Sandler uh, film. And it's where... Uh, and it actually ended up being a uh, Charlie Sheen uh, return to uh, TV, and in it he plays his character named uh, Charlie. Uh, obviously, he's gonna be a character named Charlie, uh, who's pretty much like a former uh, baseball player, whose career was like ended by injury because uh, of his anger issues. So he ended up going back, but when he ended up going back to school after uh, his like playing career ended, and now he works as a therapy who specializes in anger management. And he pretty much uh, deals with, like, lots of, uh, you know, people's issues and all. Like, here's lots of people's, uh, you know, issues. And he also, uh, and he also ha um, has a uh, ex-wife and a, uh, he, he also has a uh, ex-wife and a uh, daughter that uh, he sees from time to time, but uh, mainly through Quartanoa. But, uh, I really quite liked the anger management. I thought it was really funny. Like, it had some really funny episodes of, uh, I mean, you got, uh, Brian Austin Green was in this, uh, uh, you also had, um, Barry Corbin was great, uh, Martin Sheen actually played, uh, Charlie's dad, because, obviously, uh, you had, uh, Derek Richardson in this, uh, Salma Blair, some really great cast members you had on the show, and, you know, lots of characters, you kind of felt for, I mean, they were some really funny characters you see on the show, and I. It's a shame that it ended uh, so fast. I think it only had like a. Uh, it only ended after I think three or four episodes, if I'm not mistaken. But it's actually it was actually a really funny show. Like they do show reruns from time to time, so you know if you guys haven't seen um, Charlie Shane's Anger Management show, give it a shot. It's a really good one. Alright, coming in at number 9 is going to Young Guns. Now, Young Guns 1 is great. Can't say the same about Young Guns 2. Young Guns 2 is not so good. But, you know, this is a, a Western, like, kind of a Western uh, comedy-type film. And it stars uh, Terrence uh, Stamp as his, uh, as John uh, Tenstar, who's pretty much like a distinguished uh, British gentleman. And uh, he employs a uh, downtrodden uh, youth to attend his... Uh, heard on the uh, New Mexican uh, Frontier and all. But, like, uh, when Tonstar ends up being uh, gunned down by uh, the crooked uh, Lawrence J. Murphy, played by uh, Jack uh, Palance, as well as a, uh, you got, like, a ragtag group of cowhands who are pretty much uh, going to try to take uh, Lawrence J. Murphy down. And they include, and the uh, cowhands here includes uh, Doc, Doc, uh, Sherlock, played by uh, Kiefer Sutherland, uh, Charlie Sheen's character, Richard uh, Brewer, as well as Billy the Kid, uh, played by uh, Emilio Estevez. And, and uh, they're pretty much uh, trying to search down the uh, person who killed their uh, mentor and all. Young Guns is, it's great. It's probably one of my, like, it's a really great Western. You know, uh, Emilio Estevez, I mean, I really liked uh, Emilio Estevez's chemistry with Sutherland and, uh, and Shane, not to mention part two, we had the Lou Diamond Phillips, so there's that also. But uh, yeah, Young Guns 2, Young Guns, the first Young Guns, it's a really great one. It has some really, 
like it's not really much of a true story, really. Like despite having a real life of you know uh, cowboys in this and real life outlaws, but uh, it's still a really great one. I mean, uh, Charlie Sheen and I really thought Charlie Sheen was great in this. Uh, Kiefer Sutherland was also great. I mean, it's a really this nice one. You know, it got released in early '90s, and it's really good. Like, like if you guys never seen uh, the first Young Guns yet, give that one a shot. I mean. It's part Western, it's part comedy, really good one. Alright, coming in at number 8 is going to be a film called Lucas. Now, in the film, it stars uh, the late Corey Haim as uh, the character of Lucas, who's pretty much a, a teenager who's, who's like a nerdy uh, looks, and uh, Meek uh, Daminer makes him a, uh, pretty much makes him a favorite target for bullies, and his life ends up uh, at school. It's pretty much seems to approve when, um, when he, like, uh, be friends with this, uh, new girl named, uh, Maggie, played by Carrie Green, who's a love interest named Cappy, played by, uh, Charlie Sheen, pr pretty much protects him from her harassment or, but, uh, the, but, however, like, his, uh, friend named Arena, played by, uh, Wynonna Rivera, she has, like, a clear affection, um, for him, so pretty much she, he ends up falling for Maggie, and, and, uh, in order to, like, oppress her, he, uh, decides to join the, uh, football team. You know, Charlie Sheen, like, this was one of a, you know, this was, of course, one of Charlie Sheen's most earliest roles. It's a great one. It's a really great uh, romantic comedy. It's a great uh, football flick. Uh, Corey, you know, one of the Corey's, Corey Haim was great in this. Uh, a very young white old ride was great. Really good film. Like, it's, you know, it's part football, it's part romance. So, kind of like how, kind of like Jerry Maguire in a way. Kind of like how Jerry Maguire was part romance and part football. Same to be said about Lucas. And it's also, like, it's actually one of the most underrated 80s uh, teen films there is. Like, when you think of 80s teen films, you'll think of Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, Ferris Bueller, and all. No one never really talks about Lucas. Like, Lucas with uh, Corey Haim and Charlie Sheen is a really great one. If you guys never seen Lucas by now, give that one a shot. Alright. Coming in at number seven is all right. Number seven is going to be Platoon, you know, directed by Oliver Stone, featuring a cast that includes the likes of William Dafoe, Tom Berger, uh, Johnny Depp, Kevin Dillon, Forrest Wicker, John C. McLean, Keith David. I mean, this is definitely a really great uh, Vietnam uh, War film that got released in the. Uh, late 1980s, and in it, it starts Charlie Sheen as this, uh, as this young man named Chris Taylor, who leads his, uh, university studies to enlist in combat duty in Vietnam in 1967, and once he's, like, on the uh, ground in the middle of the battle, his, like, idolism, uh, ends up pretty much fading, and his, uh, staff sergeant, played by, uh, Tom Berenger, whose name is, uh, Sergeant Barnes, pretty much believes, like, nearby, uh, villagers are, like, harboring, uh, Viet, uh, Kong, uh, soldiers and all, and it's a really, it's a really intense, uh, war film, you know, uh, Charlie Sheen, probably one of his best performances there, like, lots of people probably add this movie a little higher, but I kind of like the next few, it's slightly much better, but, uh, Platoon is, it's a great one, it's classic, Oliver, um, yeah, it's classic Oliver Stone, great, uh, great chemistry by, uh, Tom Berger and, uh, Charlie Sheen, I mean, great uh, war scenes here, great cinematography. I mean, I believe the movie actually either scored or not. No, wait. I think it won. Gotta double check that. I think it probably won best, won the Oscar, or was just nominated. Can't remember uh, between the two. But uh, Platoon is, it's a great one. If you guys never seen Platoon by now, check that one out. I mean, iconic movie poster too, by the way. Alright. Number six is going to Scary Movie 3. Now, Scary Movie 3 is, of course, right. anyway, Scary Movie 3 is a spoof of, uh, a pretty much sci-fi and uh, horror films like The Ring, Signs, and all, and it's even a spoof of 8 Mod, by the way, and, and man, Sca Charlie Sheen and Scary Movie 3 is awesome, like, 
here, you know, he plays like the owner of the farm, uh, who also loses, who ends up losing uh, his wife, played by uh, his, you know, real life uh, ex, uh, Denise Richards. And so he's pretty much there with his uh, brother, George, played by uh, Simon Rex. And, you know, if you, if you got, no, no, this is like, uh, his part is kind of uh, like a spoof of signs. And so, so like, uh, both local farms, uh, brother, uh, Charles, um, Tom, played by Charles Shane, and George, played by Simon Rex, have, of course, reported a massive crop circus appearing overnight in their fields and all. And it's great. Like, you got a Leslie Nielsen as the president of the United States. I mean, it's from, uh, the same people who also gave us Airplane, so that, like, you know, of course, uh, the first two scary movie films was directed by Keenan Ivory Waynes, but the sequel ended up being... From the same guy who gave us Airplane. I mean, it makes sense because this has uh, Leslie Nielsen in it. And some of my favorite scenes in this feature Charlie Shane. Like, probably one of the best scenes of the whole film has got to be when Charlie Shane is, fi is having a fight with Michael Jackson. That's, that's a really awesome thing. Then there's, of course, uh, in the uh, basement where uh, where pretty much he keeps uh, getting hit in the uh, testicles and all, so that's always a funny scene. And, of course, where the alien uh, ends up pretty much uh, peeing in Charlie Sheen's uh, mouth with my, my finger. You guys know how uh, how aliens pee, uh, you know, pee in this by their fingers. But, uh, yeah, I, I just quite love Scary Movie 3. It's it's not as good as the first two, but I still really quite uh, dig it. It's funny, hilarious. You also got other people like, uh, you got um, Anthony Anderson's in this, Kevin Hart, uh, Fat Joe, I really like that Fat Joe scene, um, Daryl Hammond, uh, Method Man, uh, Master P, Macy Gray was in this. Uh, you even had a... Uh, you know, you even had uh, Pamela Anderson, uh, Jenny McCartney, some really great cast members. This movie was, you know, hilarious, and especially the scenes with Charlie Sheen in it. Like, if you guys haven't seen Scary Movie 3 by now, give it a go. And also, Charlie Sheen had, you know, um, also ended up appearing in Scary Movie 4 and 5. So, yeah, there's that too. Alright, coming in at number five is going to Wall Street. Now, this is, of course, uh, you know, now this actually won uh, the Oscar for Best Picture and won Michael Douglas' Oscar. That I remember from my head. But anyway, you know, the film stars uh, Charlie Sheen as a uh, Bud Fox. He plays this, like, stockbroker who's full of uh, ambition. And he pretty much does, like, whatever uh, he can to uh, make his way to the top. Including admiring the uh, powering of the uh, inspiring corporate leader Gordon Gecko, played by uh, Michael Douglas, and so yeah, and you also got uh, Martin Sheen who plays uh, you know who also plays uh, Fox's dad. I mean, obviously Martin Sheen's gonna be playing Charlie Sheen's dad because he's really his dad in real life. Yeah, you know this movie was also directed by Oliver Stone. You also had uh, Daryl Hannah, Hal Holbrook, uh, John C. McClenney. Uh, you had um, Sean Young, James Spader was also in this. Wall Street is just great. I mean, it of course has the iconic line, uh, greed is good. Is that? Like I said, one best picture. I mean, I think Charlie Sheen got an Oscar nomination, if I'm not mistaken. Gotta double check that. But, uh, yeah, this, of course, is a horror movie about uh, money, about Wall Street. About Wall Street and all, and it's a really... It's a great one. Like, if you guys never seen Wall Street by now, go check that one out. Alright. Now, coming in at number four is going to be his sitcom, Two and a Half Men. Now, of course he did uh, Anger Management, but before that, he did a really funny sitcom called Two and a Half Men, which obviously kind of, he kind of uh, screwed up um, his shouldn't have bad stuff because, uh, you guys know the story. But he ended up being replaced by uh, Atchet Kutcher in the next few, um, in the next last couple of seasons. But when Charlie Sheen was on as Charlie Hopper, I loved it. You know, you, 
You had uh, John Cryer as his uh, brother, Alan Harper. Um, Angus T. Jones was uh, was pretty much uh, Charlie's nephew. Um, uh, Jake Harper, uh, the one who played the uh, like the uh, housekeeper. I really loved her in this. You know, of course, uh, the character name was Alberta. Really, gr really great show. It you know the show like they still show reruns from time to time. I really quite love True Nat Man. It's hilarious. You know, great uh, brotherly uh, chemistry between Charlie Sheen and uh, John Cryer. You know, uh, Jake. You know, the kid who plays uh, Jake Agassi Jones. He was great on the show. And pretty much, let's just say that Charlie Sheen pretty much played Charlie Sheen on the show. I mean, kind of funny how um, his last two sitcoms he appeared in, he hit. His character is actually Charlie. I kind of find that a little funny. But, uh, yeah, if you guys never seen uh, Two and a Half Man with Charlie Shane in the, you know, they, like I said, they still show reruns. Give it a go. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, the one with Ashley Kutcher was, the one with Ashley Kutcher was still good, too. I mean, I know lots of people poo-poo on, uh, that version. But I quite like the Ash Kitchen one also. But uh, when Charlie Sheen was on, it was still great. So hopefully one of these days, maybe we could get a revival. That would be cool. I like Alright. Coming in at number three is going to Hot Shots. Which is, of course, um, like a spoof of, uh, you know, Top Gun. Now, now, Hot Shots is great. I mean, I also quite like the sequel too, Hot Shots of... Uh, Hot Shots Part 2, but the first Hot Shots is still great. You know, you had a Charlie Shin as a, pretty much like a spoof version of a, a Maverick from Top Gun. Uh, you, you know, you also, it was directed by uh, Jim Abrahams, who also gave us Airplane. Uh, you had, uh, speaking of Airplane, uh, Lori Bridges. Speaking of True and Half Man, you also had John Cryer. Ryan Stiles, who also appeared on True and Half Man. Uh, Carrie Elwes. Chrissy Swanson, Phil uh, Irwin, some really cool cast members. Like, I, I always keep forgetting that John Cryer was in this, by the way. So, pretty cool that John Cryer and Charlie Sheen did something before Two and a Half Men. But, uh, yeah, Hot Shots, it's, it has some really funny, memorable lines. Uh, boy, I gotta rewatch this movie again. It's literally been a while since I've seen Hot Shots. But, uh, it's still a great one. I mean,. It's such an iconic spoof movie in its own right. Like, if you guys never seen Hot Shots by now, give that one a shot. No pun intended, by the way. Alright, coming in at number two is going to Red Dawn. Directed by John Millis. You know, where these, uh, of course, it's about these uh, Soviet soldiers who end up obeying a... Uh, Pretty much evade a, a small town in uh, Colorado, and so you got brothers uh, named Jed, played by Patrick Swayze, and Charlie Sheen's character, uh, Matt Eckrat, who pretty much escape uh, with friends to the forest, and like their father named Tom, played by uh, Harry Dean Stanton, is a, a prisoner of uh, the evading army, and like the children end up pretty much decide to uh, fight the uh, fight against the Soviets uh, and all, and. And they also end up teaming up with this uh, lieutenant uh, named Colonel uh, Andrew Tanner, played by uh, Paris Boots, pretty much like take back uh, the town. And their uh, their co-name is, of course, the Wolverines. I mean, Red Dawn, it's an 80s classic. Now, now I quite like the remake with Chris Hemsworth. And, of course, Josh Peck actually played uh, Charlie Sheen's character in the uh, remake. But, uh... The original still holds a place in my heart. I mean, granted, I never really seen it when it got released because obviously I was one night to night too, so that's that. But I remember watching it on TV one time, really quite enjoying it. I mean, it's a, it is such an 80s icon. It's an 80s, it's a really cool 80s action flick. I really like the uh, brother chemistry between uh, Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen. They were both great in this. Such a really fantastic film. I mean, if you got... And, oh, not to mention a few other uh, people in this. You also had uh, C. Thomas Howell. Uh, Leah Thompson was in this. Ron O'Neill. Uh, Frank McRae. Really great film, man. Yeah, if you guys still never seen uh, Red Dawn by now, 
go check it out. I mean, Wolverines for life, people. And I bet you Robert Meyer Burnett has a uh, Blu-ray of Red Dawn, by the way. Anyway. Alright. Now, my number one favorite Charlie Sheen movie of all time, or I should say project, really. My number one favorite uh, Charlie Sheen one of all time goes to Major League. Probably one of the you know coolest baseball movies there is. <coughs> Where, of course, the uh, new owner of uh, Cleveland... Um, Indians, a former uh, showgirl named, uh, named Rachel Phelps, played by Margaret uh, Whitten, pretty much uh, decides to uh, break um, the lease with uh, the Cleveland, uh, with the city of Cleveland, and uh, her, and pretty much uh, she ends up uh, having a deal to move to uh, to the uh, team to uh, Miami, and so like, so Phelps ends up like pretty much uh, during um, a uh, baseball team, she decides to uh, hire a uh, pretty much a uh, in- Incompetent uh, player uh, who's pretty much like a not so great uh, pitcher named uh, Rick Vaughn, played by uh, Charlie Sheen, as well as a injured uh, prone catch, uh, catcher named uh, Jake Taylor, played by Tom Berenger. I mean, this is a really classic, iconic baseball film. You know, you also had people like uh, Dennis Haysbro was in this. Uh, Renee Russo, you also had uh, Wesley Snipes, um, Barbara Burston was in this. Really great film. I mean, it's, uh, part two actually wasn't all that good, but uh, the first major league was great. You know, Charlie Sheen, at the hype of uh, his career, was great in this. I mean, at first he didn't play baseball that well, but then uh, he actually ended up learning to uh, play slightly much better, and he became a pretty good player throughout. 2-5, 3-5. And, uh, the, and, of course, uh, Rachel Phelps was not really that great of a uh, character either. But uh, Charlie Shane, like, it's it's one of his, like, his uh, better works here. I mean, it's one of the most iconic uh, sport movies there is. Like, I love the uh, baseball scenes featuring this. It's really great. If you guys never seen Major League by now, go check Major League out. It's a really good one. But that's pretty much it. Let me do the quick rundown. 10. Anger Management. 9. Young Guns. 8. Lucas. 7. Platoon. 6. Scary Movie 3. 5. Wall Street. 4. Two and a Half Men. 3. Hot Shots. 2. Red Dawn. 1. Major League. Now, Charlie Sheen's been in loads of other stuff over the years as well. Let me pull up his friend list. Now, his last feature was this movie, uh... Sorry about that. Anyway, um, you know, Charlie Sheen's last uh, feature was this horrible, horrendous film for nine uh for nine eleven, which uh, starred uh, Whoopi Goldberg and all that. That movie was horrendous. Oh god, that was so terrible. His other work also includes uh, Mad Families, which was a uh, which was a cracker film. Uh, he had a really funny uh, cameo in uh, Ferris Bueller. Uh, he was in Machete Kills. A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charles Swan the Dirge with uh, Bill Murray. That was okay. Uh, definitely not Food Fight. That movie was horrendous. Uh, she Wants Me. He had a funny cameo in Due Date. He returned for uh, Wall Street Money Never Sleeps. Uh, he appeared on uh, Sin, uh, Spin City. Almost said Sin City. Uh, he was in the film Good Advice, which also had Denise Richards in it, by the way. Uh, he was in Free Money, Money Talks with uh, Chris Tucker. All Dogs Go to Heaven, too, which I like the first All Dogs Go to Heaven. Can't say much about the sequel. Uh, he was in the uh, film The, um, the Chase, the Three Musketeers, The Aforementioned Hot Shots Part Doug, uh, The Rookie, and Eight Man Out. Some really good, interesting stuff. Some not so interesting stuff, so, yeah. But uh, anyway, let me leave you guys. What are some of your favorite Charles Sheen projects? Whether it's uh, his film roles or his TV roles, etc. Oh. Not to mention, just real quick, I also really like that Comedy Central Rose to Charlie Sheen with Seth MacFarlane and all. That was really funny, too. But uh, anyway, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. 
This year, same movie.